It looks like you have a lot of little ones. Yeah, I guess that is my style. My mom says I look like a sketchbook. I kind of <laughs> like it. <laughs> What's up, GQ? I'm Paul Klein from Laney, and this is my tattoo tour. Um, first one was this nine. So all three of us in the band lived in apartment number nine. It's a one bedroom apartment, and this is the exact nine that hung on the door. We wrote so many songs and made our first few EPs in that one bedroom apartment. And I didn't know where to go to get a tattoo. Like I typed in tattoos in Yelp, and um, I found this place called Black Diamond and this guy named Justin Jakus. The reviews were insane. They're like, dude, if you're gonna go get your first tattoo, go to Justin, he's the best. And um, so I called up Black Diamond and I went in the next weekend. Where'd you guys get the name uh, Laney? Um, so I knew that I wanted to have a four letter word for a band name just for aesthetic purposes. And I just thought about Los Angeles and New York and how they're the major cities of our country, but completely opposite. And they're almost like the antithesis of each other. And, but they're both amazing in their own respects. So like Laney, that's how I came up with the band name. I got this heart, so for love songs. For a while, like the heart changes shapes when you move your arm. I was like, did I put it too close to like the center of axis and movement? I'm so particular and I'm so picky and if something goes wrong, then I stress about it for like a year and then I wish I hadn't done it, but I think it's perfect. I had drawn a heart and he like made it absolutely perfect. So we played seven arenas with John Mayer. He's my hero. I grew up borderline worshiping him. And we got the call to come out um, and open for him on tour. I knew that I wanted something. I thought seven tallies would be really cool for the seven arenas we played with him. That was just like a surreal moment. And now like he'll like my shit on Instagram and sometimes I can't believe that like my hero knows that I exist and like likes a photo or responds to DM. It's a really crazy life, yeah. I got LA on my finger. I had it done a couple times because the first time I got it done, we were writing our first album and we were up in the house in Malibu and I had this battery powered keyboard that I would sit out in like the garden and play all the time and my hands got roasted from the sun. And so it kind of faded my tat. I wasn't very responsible with it when I got it. Somebody once told me they thought I was really magnetic and I thought that was one of the nicest things anyone ever said to me. So I got a magnet tattooed on me. <laughs> I just want to go throughout my day really purposefully and like draw goodness towards my way. And sometimes we'll pray that I'm like at the right place at the right time and the right conversation with the right people, you know? My dad took me to Free Willy as a kid, a matinee. Cried my eyes out, I think mainly because that was the first Michael Jackson song I ever heard, Will You Be There, which is still my favorite Michael Jackson song. So I got the whale, man. That's my favorite, my favorite animal, killer whale. I got this with Halsey. Early on being in Laney, those shows with her and Choice of On were really pivotal for our careers. They have really locked in intense fan bases and it was really fun to get in front of those people every night. But then we went on our own tour about a year later and she called me out of the blue and was like, I just miss coming to a Laney show. And I was like, well, why don't you come to Minneapolis? So she just hopped on a plane and flew to Minneapolis and that was November 5th. So we were at the hotel room like after we played with a bunch of friends and we we're like, should we get tattoos tonight? And I was like, let's get something symbolic of the date. So it's 11, which is November. And we played the show on the 5th and we got tattooed on the 6th. I had a couple beers. So like, I, I think I had said to the guy, like, make sure that this is legit, but who's to say? I was like petting koi fish in the pond that night. So it was one of those kind of nights. So I got Buddy on my arm who's my uncle. Growing up, my mom would always speak very highly of him. And I caught my first fish with Uncle Buddy, you know. He bought me my first watch. I didn't know my grandpa, so he was kind of like my stand-in grandpa. So he like worked at the shipyard his whole life. So I kind of, you know, got something similar to like a Sailor Jerry font. But I've always liked just simple black tattoos. I, I don't think I'll ever get color. I, it's just not for me. This one, I've, I got thanks on the back of my arm. I spent a long time, because that's my handwriting, and I wanted to put it in cursive. Um, the H is just a little too pointed. This is how picky I am, you know? And also my arm was bent, 
when he tattooed and it should have been down, but you live and you learn, right? And all three of us in the band, we all just got kind of gratitude tats. Jake just got thanks, the word thanks, and Les got thank you. I got this big flower on my arm. I think it's probably one of the best ones I have. It's just really simple, but flowers have always like worked their way into like our band aesthetic and I won't say what street I live on, but it's Spanish for flowers. <laughs> I got your loss tattooed on my shoulder. It's just a statement that I always want to be true. Like anytime anybody kind of turns me down or says no, that it's their loss, not mine, which places the responsibility on me to be like the best version of myself at all times. And I just got like a little chest banger. It's a little one right here on my collarbone. It says X my age. That's for cross my heart. Anything on your back or legs? Not yet, but I wanted to get maybe like a moon right in the middle of my neck and maybe a tramp stamp. Brad Pitt has like a tramp stamp when he did the GQ video and you see it for just a split second, like when his shirt's flapping in the wind and I was like, I had no idea Brad Pitt had a tramp stamp. I think like I might need a tramp stamp. So that could be my next one actually, like a simple line wave, just like across my back. I'll come back and show you the tramp stamp. <laughs>